To take the derivative of the function e to the x times the factor x squared plus 3x minus 1, we're going to need to use a product rule. Sometimes it's easy to miss uh, when you need a product rule when you have e to the x that's part of the problem. Um, but realize that you've got x within the factor e to the x as well as x within the polynomial factor sitting next to it. So you do need a product rule for this problem. So to take the derivative using the product rule, we have um, f prime of x equals the derivative of the first term, so d dx of e to the x, times the second term, which is x squared plus 3x minus 1, plus we have um, the first term, e to the x, times the derivative of the second term. So the derivative of x squared plus 3x minus 1. So now to finish up the derivative, we need to uh, take the small little derivatives within the product rule. So the derivative of e to the x is itself. So we've got e to the x times the factor x squared plus 3x minus 1. And then we have plus e to the x times the derivative of that polynomial. So that polynomial, we take the derivative uh, term by term using a constant multiple rule and the simple power rule for each one. And so we've got the derivative of x squared being uh, 2x. We bring down the 2 and we drop the power by 1. And then we add to it the derivative of 3x. So the derivative of 3x is 3. And then we would have minus the derivative of the constant 1, but that would just be minus 0. So we don't need to really write that. So at this point, we've taken the derivative, but notice that this factor e to the x appears in both terms that are separated by the sum um, with that plus sign there. And so really, we could clean this up a bit if we would pull out the common factor of e to the x. And if we do that, that leaves us with x squared plus 3x minus 1 from the first term. Let me not put the parentheses there. Um, but then it also leaves us with, because we have a plus sign, we don't have to worry about parentheses. It leaves us with the uh, 2x plus 3 um, from the second term. So combining our like terms within the parentheses, we have e to the x times, um, the only x squared term is that first one, so we just have x squared. We've got a 3x plus a 2x for a total of 5x. And then we have a minus 1 plus 3 for a total of plus 2. And that's a nice factored form of our derivative where we had to use the product rule for this problem.